Acupuncture originated in China about 4,000 years ago and slowly it started to spread through the world. So from 4,000 years ago to now, acupuncture became a wide use alternative medicine and it's probably one of the most researched ones that shows evidence how effective it is. I started acupuncture approximately five years ago. I had a pulled hamstring. I was going to a physical therapist and there were no uh, beneficial results. The pain didn't subside. It may have even gotten worse. The physical therapist suggested acupuncture. There are many different ways that acupuncture works. By placing the needle into a specific area, the signal goes to the brain and then the needle allows the neurotransmitters to be released to block the pain signal from going to the brain and producing this widespread pain effect in the body. I was a little nervous about um, following up, but I did. Within uh, three sessions, the pulled hamstring pain had subsided. There are some people who are still skeptical about it because you don't always feel the effect of it right away. It's usually a cumulative effect. You need to come in for a few sessions and then maybe three days after the acupuncture session, you actually feel the full effect of it. And when the needle goes in, sometimes people feel absolutely nothing. And it's hard to understand how not doing much can produce such a huge effect. But the effect is on the biochemical level. It's hormones that are being changed. There's a balance, there is a shift inside of the body that changes. Also emotions are getting balanced out and our emotions are creating our physical reality. This is how we feel. If someone is on the fence about trying acupuncture, I would definitely suggest that they at least give it one shot. Try it. Find, find someone that you um, sort of mesh with. Most of the time I get patients coming in for pain management because acupuncture is very well known for pain management, let's say back pain or neck pain, and then they start reporting to me how much better their blood pressure is and they are sleeping better and their mood is more stable. Or for the women who are in the age of late 40s and 50s, they report to me how much better their menopausal symptoms are now. They're sleeping through the night better. There is a decrease in hot flashes. There are almost no night sweats. I had really bad um, carpal tunnel. That has subsided considerably. I've had acupuncture to treat uh, TMJ. It's not like you're taking up a pill that's going to uh, relieve one thing and mess 20 other things up. You know. Acupuncture is amazing, amazing adjunct to your health and wellness routine because it will allow you to decrease your medications. There are so many meds that people are now taking and the older you get, the more meds you need, the more medications you need, and they all have side effects. They're helping in one place, but they're harming something else. When you add acupuncture to your routine, you might not need as much blood pressure medication. You might not need a sleeping aid that also changes your brain chemistry. So I wouldn't suggest stopping anything, but by adding acupuncture, you're actually allowing your body to be a little bit more balanced and go through the process naturally, where you need less medications. It's good to be able to treat a medical condition without worrying about adverse side effects or allergic reactions or anything, you know, so it, you try it, it's a holistic approach, it's natural, it might not be for everybody, but it has worked wonderfully for me. Um, acupuncture does change my outlook, especially after a treatment. When I leave here, um, I go home, I'm in a better mood, I'm happy, and I'm able to deal with whatever consequences the day brings.